In today's video, we're going to talk about World Sleep Day. Now, if you have been part of my community already, you know very well that I take part of the celebration of sleep uh, on World Sleep Day every year. And I've been a delegate for the seventh year running now since 2018. Now, the World Sleep Day itself is organized by the World Sleep Society, and it is an annual event where we get together in the sleep world and celebrate the importance of sleep, talk about sleep problems, sleep disorders, the various different services, tools, techniques, and ways that you can really help yourself to develop better quality sleep for many years to come. So this year is no different. The only difference this year is that the theme of World Sleep Day is a little bit more on a general note, but I think it's an important one to talk about. So this year's theme is sleep equity for global health. And we're very much going to talk about or raise awareness around how unfortunately different countries and different services and different um, uh, ways of supporting people like you who struggle with sleep problems are quite different. And unfortunately, I see this in my practice as well. My reach mostly through my YouTube channel, as well as just generally um, the private practice that I run, reaches globally. So I've over the years have clients from many different countries, many different backgrounds, many different um, sort of stages of life. So I've really seen how different countries lack some services where other countries might have better services. Now, before we talk about this and why it matters to you or needs to matter to you anyway, um, I wanted to, first of all, welcome you back if you're part of my community already. Today's video is going to be a bit more general, but I think it is an important conversation for us to have when it comes to how you can begin to support yourself, no matter what background, no matter what country you're based in and so on. And if you're new, then we're going to talk about some of those challenges that I see in this big sleep industry that I am part of. Now, if you haven't yet come across any of my content before, then I'm going to quickly introduce myself. So you have a bit of a background of why am I talking about this topic of long-term insomnia and sleep problems. So my name is Beatrix Schmidt. I'm a sleep coach, a professional speaker, and the creator of the Sleep Skills for Life program. And I've been supporting clients like you who struggle with sleep problems for the last 10 years. But even before that, I struggled with insomnia myself. So I know that over the years, the whole sleep industry has developed a lot. A lot of different services, a lot of different tools and techniques have surfaced across that period of time that I've been involved with sleep. Now, if you haven't yet, then I would suggest you subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell as well, so I can let you know when I post more practical videos, as you might see other videos on my channel. Normally, I talk about more practicalities, but today is a special one because we do have to talk about World Sleep Day, as it is a big part of my work. And if you like this video, then hit that like button below as well at the end. So let's turn our attention back to how, depending on your background, depending on what country you're in, you can actually really access some of the services or tools and techniques that you might need in order to really develop great quality sleep for many years to come and overcome your challenges. So when it comes to the World Sleep Society, the World Sleep Day is a great opportunity for you to actually more easily find uh, communities, local communities, services that are based around where you are or in the countries that, you, that you're living. I'm based in the UK. Now, across the years, I worked with very different clients from different backgrounds, different countries, um, and I've seen how, unfortunately, services are often quite limited depending on the country you're in. And as I've got a YouTube channel over the years, I've reached quite a wide range of audiences. And sometimes the problem arises that I run a private practice, which means that the amount of support I can give is quite limited. Uh, whereas a big organization, 
maybe a more medical organization has a lot more resources to be able to actually provide those services to more people um, in the location they're at. But when it comes to World Sleep Day, it really allows us as a community to come together to share those resources. So as we're coming up to World Sleep Day, and you might still be looking for more perhaps local support or support in the country that you're in, this is a great opportunity for you to find those resources simply by using uh, either social media to look for things like the tags that they might be using to really see what is around locally to you. But also, when it comes to my work, sleep equity is quite an important part of even me reaching people like you. That's why many, many years ago, it's coming up to 10 years now, I started a YouTube channel. Because that is a great opportunity for me to share some of the things that I do with my clients so that you can start learning in a practical way. But of course, naturally, when you look at videos like this, which are very general, and I might not know anything about your situation, it can be quite frustrating. And I know that because I've been there before. But the most important thing when you are looking at more general support like this, for example, a YouTube channel or a YouTube video, it can still provide you with the information you need, providing you put it into a practical perspective. And I talk about this all the time in my videos, because the reality of something like a video on YouTube is that it's very important for us to, as practitioners not to diagnose in any way without actually really even speaking to you. So some of these articles you find online, videos you find online will have to be more on a general note because as practitioners, we have to make sure that we're not misleading you into a direction that can cause harm or maybe bigger problems than where you started with. So that's what you see in my videos as well. Whilst the concepts and the ideas and the practicalities I share with you are useful. And if you put them in place in a proper way, they are going to help you to make progress. That's how I overcame my own insomnia. I didn't work with anybody at the time because a lot of the stuff that was out there, and this was well over 10 years ago now, they were incredibly general. So even I could overcome my insomnia based on really focusing on the practicality. So even if you're in a situation where you might not be able to work with someone like me who runs a private practice, you can still really become incredibly practical and work on what you need to work on in order to become a better uh, sleeper or improve your situation when it comes to sleep problems. And don't let your mind convince you otherwise. So this is, again, one of the things I say to clients who reach out to me and maybe don't have the resources to work with me. You can overcome your insomnia and sleep problems, but you have to approach it from a practical perspective and not self-diagnose. Most countries will provide you with some sort of a service that is an assessment type service. Obviously, every country is different and I don't know the situation in every country, but even in the UK, there are different ways to diagnose and assess sleep problems. There are plenty of different ways. In the UK, we've got the National Health Service. Whilst the resources are limited, but it will still help you to start somewhere, even if your finances might not allow you to work with someone privately. And that's very important to start with. Instead of self-diagnosis, which can lead you down, and I mentioned this before several times, an inappropriate route, that assessment is a really big part of that first step. So when it comes to global sleep health, depending on where you're at, World Sleep Day will allow you to connect with either services or individuals who are able to provide some version of support to you. And that's no different from me. In my practice, whilst I do work with one-to-one -one clients, which is obviously a, a higher service when it comes to finances, but I also have things that you can start using to start making that plan. So I have a group sleep coaching program, for example, which is more affordable for someone who might not be able to 
uh, really financially afford the higher price services. I also have on-demand masterclasses. So again, I design my business in a way that I can start supporting you in some way. But if you're not able to financially invest in any way, then I've recorded over 140 videos, which all sit on my YouTube channel free of charge. If I put together the amount of time that you can actually start learning from me, it's a lot of different resources that I, I shared over the years. So start with that. Even if you might not start with my work, but look for someone, another practitioner, let's say, who also have some of these more freely available resources, but actually practically helping you to really figure out where to go. Stay away as much as possible from incredibly general things. There is no such thing as quick things, easy things, things that will work overnight especially if you're struggled with sleep problems or insomnia for longer than, let's say, two weeks. The more time you spend struggling, often the more complexity the sleep problem will become. And I see that in my practice. But it doesn't mean that it has to take you years to overcome it. It just means that you have to be more practical about it because you need to figure out what are some of the root causes and apply the appropriate tools to the root causes so that you can see the consistent outcomes, the consistent results. And that's, again, one of the things I see in my practice is a lot of the times people put in place very general things and therefore the results don't follow. And it's very simply practical that way. If you put the right things in place and you work on the right tools or techniques, the results will consistently show up because it is appropriate to the root cause of the sleep problem or insomnia challenges that you have. So in this video, I wanted to sort of talk to you about these things because depending on your background, depending on which country you're in, there are going to be changes in what you see, what kind of services, support systems you might see. But World Sleep Day is a great way for you to start looking at who is local to you, who is able to maybe uh, support you who might be more relevant to the problem you have versus maybe looking at someone who is uh, working with a different type of clientele or different type of sub sleep problem. And that's really why I wanted to share this video today because World Sleep Day is such a great way to start really exploring what might be around for you to tap into and start really having that support that you need to overcome your sleep problems that have been around for a long period of time. Now, obviously, thank you so much for watching this more general video today. But if you have any questions around this, you're very welcome to uh, either reach out to me or pop a comment below. As I mentioned, I do have different services depending on what people struggle with and what their background is. You're very welcome to sort of uh, look at those if that is something that you're interested in. Other than that, I wish you all the very best with this pursuit of overcoming your challenges. It is completely possible. Like I said, I overcame my insomnia without working with anyone. It just took a lot more patience and more time, but I was able to do it. So that's again, uh, what's important is we really approach it from a practical perspective and not give up on it, but to look for what is relevant to you. So thank you so much for watching and I'm looking forward to See you in the next video.